hi scorpio scorpio sun moon rising venus welcome to your daily energy reading let's find out what is happening in your energy at this point scorpio sun moon rising venus welcome to your daily energy reading don't forget to like and subscribe turn on the notification so you can be notified whenever i upload a reading for you scorpio sun moon rising venus what is happening holy spirit my angels my guides my ancestors Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. We have judgment. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. The Queen of Swords. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with Aquarius. I just did a reading for Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, please watch that reading. You might get some information for you here. They, we have the Fool. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guys, my ancestors. Then we have the seven of wands in reverse. We have the hermit. Ten of pentacles. Two of swords. The knight of pentacles and the four of pentacles is the overarching energy. Scorpio, someone is wanting to take a leap of faith and come towards you with this full energy here. I'm also getting an energy of clarity. This person is like, they have some clarity at this point. They have came to, they came to a conclusion. This is someone that wants to communicate clearly at this point. This is someone that knows what they want at this point with this Queen of Swords. Some of you are dealing with air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The judgment here is telling me that this is someone that wants a resurrection of the connection that you guys share. They want to talk about something. There could be talks about starting a family with this Queen of Swords on top of the Ten of Pentacles. There could be talks about money. Some of you are dealing with like family members here with this Ten of Pentacles. You could be having conversations with your family members with regards to like money. There could be talks about a marriage. Someone is wanting to take a leap of faith towards you. Something was very challenging in this connection with the Seven of Wands in reverse. But however, that blockage is no longer there. The challenge is no longer there. Whatever it is that was difficult between you and your person is no longer there with the seven of wands in reverse. The challenge is over. The problems are over. I'm getting that kind of energy. So whatever it is that was a blockage in your person's energy, only you know what was stopping you guys from actually having a nice relationship. It's no longer there. The seven of wands is in reverse. It shows me that something is resolved here. There are no longer challenges. Those road block, those roadblocks are no longer there. Those obstacles, they are no longer there. Though something is going to come in very slowly with the seven of with this knight of pentacles, something is happening quite slowly. The knight of pentacles, you can depend on the knight of pentacles, very hard working energy, detail orientated. Something will take time, but it requires a lot of work. However, it's going to be quite stable and worth it. Something real someone realized something here while they were in this hermit mode. This is someone that could have ghosted you, or you could have ghosted this person. I'm getting a lack of communication. And during that period of, not of no communication, zero communication, this person was able to realize something. Let's clarify your reading, Scorpio, and find out what is happening here. Turn on the notification so you can be notified whenever I upload. What is the judgment card for Scorpio? We have the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Some of you are definitely dealing with S signs here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or someone that is just a someone that is always in their head, you know, the Queen of Swords energy, very intelligent, clear headed, someone very straightforward, someone that likes to communicate. This person is wanting to talk about something. They want to talk about a resurgence of this connection. Talk about fixing something. Let's communicate. If you if this person is someone that ghosted you, they want to talk. They don't they no longer want to be quiet anymore about anything. This person wants to also be honest and be clear. They want to be clear about certain things here. Yeah, this person is sure about what they want. This is someone that has decided. They've made a decision here. They're being strategic though. But there's something they've decided here, Scorpio. And this person is wanting to come in with some communication. What is this Queen of Swords? We have the star. Some of you are definitely dealing with Aquarius. The Queen of Swords is Aquarius energy. Here. 
this is someone okay so this is someone here scorpio like I, I am i am getting that energy that some of you scorpios can be dealing with aquarians so you can check out the aquarius reading um when you're done with this reading obviously something needs healing the star is also healing energy this person could be wanting to communicate about healing a communicate a connection here they're wanting to heal things with you what is this for for scorpio this person is wanting to heal things with you here and then we have the high priestess you're taking a leap of faith some of you are dealing with pisces energy something will require you here to just take a leap of faith just trust go with the flow however some intuition will be required with this high priestess something is also a mystery here so you would not know it's like a it's like there's something that you could be doing here and you're in the dark you don't know you don't know what's happening you don't know what's going to happen and i'm also getting that your person is wanting to come towards you and offer you something and talk to you about something but they're in the blind they're in the dark when it comes to you there's a lot of mystery surrounding this leap of faith that they want to take it's either they're going to fall on their face or something amazing is going to manifest out of this what is the seven of wands in reverse for scorpio what is the seven of wands in reverse for scorpio holy spirit my angels my guides my ancestors the seven of wands in reverse for scorpio the seven of wands in reverse for scorpio And then we have the five of swords. Some of you could have been dealing with someone that is quite narcissistic or argumentative. There could have been an argument or disconnect here, some conflict, some, you know, you know, lack of communication, issues, arguments that were had here with this five of swords. And that is, I'm getting that it was a challenge and it's no longer a challenge anymore. You could have resolved something. This person could also be wanting to resolve an issue with you here that caused this blockage that both of you are experiencing here. What is this hermit energy for Scorpio? What is this hermit energy for Scorpio? Somebody is in hermit mode or someone was in hermit mode. We have the Ace of Swords. This is the card of truth. Something is This is the truth and nothing but the truth. Someone is in hermit mode here. This person could have ghosted you. They could have cut you out of their lives. They were just holding back. I'm getting this. Someone, this someone is also like in isolation at this point. They are not talking to you and they are literally just holding back from communicating with you what is this ten of pentacles for scorpio the ten of pentacles is the four of swords hmm. the four of swords is the card of re recovery some of you could have been married to this person there could be talks about like fixing something recovering from something you could have taken a break the four of swords is also about taking a break resting healing recovering from something here some of you are trying to recover your finances what is the two of swords for Scorpio? And then we have the knight of cups and the three of wands. There's someone that is hesitating in your energy. They are making plans. They want to make all this. They're making all these plans to come towards you and the knight of cups and offer you something more romantic. They want to be loyal, more romantic. They want to apologize for something. Some of you are dealing with fellow water signs, cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. However, this person is like still undecided. I'm also getting that someone that is stuck. It's like they're in a. They're, they're, it's like they're. They don't know where to go left or right. They know that they want to do all these things for you, but they're not saying anything at this point. They want to. They are. They want. They need to make all these plans. Come towards you. Offer you something more stable, more loving. You know, take you out on dates. Spend more time with you. Just be more romantic with you here. Be more loving towards you. They want to make all these plans, and they. I'm also getting anyone. Someone that is already making all these plans, but something is keeping this person stuck. This person is also in the dark about you. And this is showing up right underneath the fool and the high priestess. So this person is not sure about what is happening in your life at this point. They're struggling to make a decision whether to come towards you here. I see them coming slowly. Taking their time and wanting to come in slowly here. Let's get one last tarot card. And then we're going to go deep into the reading. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. We have the Six of Swords. This person is wanting to move to Kama Waters and this lover's envy that I see. And the Four of Wands. This is someone that is genuinely in love with you. Someone could have actually like sneaked out of a connection here to go get married with the Seven of Swords. This person could have left you and went to go marry another person here. 
they could have chose someone here they chose someone and they chose to marry this person seven of swords is very sneaky energy it's showing up right underneath the fourth ones the fourth ones is the marriage card the lover speaks of choices in love someone made a choice they could have walked left you and said to go uh sneak sneak out and you you could have been blindsided in this connection scorpio and this person could have decided to go and marry another person. There's a heavy energy of holding back. Your person is holding back. They, they want to say something to you. This person could be wanting to be honest about the fact that they are genuinely, they are married or they're getting married with this Hierophant and the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is about truth. The Hierophant is a marriage card. So this is someone that is wanting to communicate some something about a marriage. But they are holding back here. This could be someone that also wants to talk to you about getting married to you. And being with you here and spending time with you and building a family with you here but there's this heavy energy of them holding back from you here Scorpio let's get more information don't forget to like and subscribe if you resonate with the reading let me know on the comment section and please let me know what your person's sign is so I'm able to tap into their energy better when I do my next reading Let me know what your person's sign is. Let's get more. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guys, my ancestors. More for Scorpio. Soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. This is definitely your soulmate. Or you could be thinking that this is your soulmate or this person feels like you are their soulmate. But that's the heavy soulmate energy. Let's get more. Not enough. Frustrated in relationships, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. I'm getting that, Scorpio. You could be someone that feels you're quite insecure. You could be feeling like you're not enough in this connection. You're not enough for this person. There could be a lot of insecurities in your energy here. You could be feeling like you are not enough. A lot of insecurity, very low self-esteem. This could be you or your person. Your person could also be feeling very insecure, feeling like they are not enough. And then we have sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. You could have received some shocking news from your person. Something changed suddenly here when you were not expecting here. This is, I'm getting the tower energy here. And then we have ascending, transcending obstacles. We did get the seven of wands in reverse. So whatever obstacles were in this connection or in your energy, you're transcending those obstacles. Learning from experiences and a new phase is here. You need to prepare for union. You are definitely going to be reuniting with your soulmate here, Scorpio. Let's get more information. And then we're going to get messages. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Light, and Venus. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. Tell me more for Scorpio. And then we have past lives. You have known this person before. It is your soulmate from a past lifetime. Forgive and release. You are stronger when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. You might need to forgive someone here, Scorpio. Tell me more. Make the effort. This love is worth taking risks. You are called to move forward. Let go of the need to control. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Leave your fears behind. They are stopping this relationship from blossoming. So there could be a lot of fears around this, in this relationship here. Let's get messages from your person before we end your reading, Scorpio. Let's get messages from your person. If this person wants to communicate with Scorpio right now, what would this person say to Scorpio? Although we are apart, I can still feel you. I use my work as a way to move on from you. Tell me, Holy Spirit. I often recall memories of you. 
And then we have, it's necessary for us to maintain a distance. And then we have, the truth was a bitter pill to swallow here. Please note that this message is, you might resonate with some parts and not all parts because I am reading for multiple people. Take whatever resonates for you. Eat the meat and spit out the bones. I keep looking at your pictures and not to, and not to mention the videos we made. OMG, I will never delete them. I'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right. Addictions clouded my vision. I'm trying to get my life together. I know you are my soulmate, babe. Our bond is magnetic. I'm seeing all the signs. I'm getting a lot of heavy soulmate here. Energy Scorpio. I'm going to end your reading here. I'm going to end your reading here. I hope I was able to give you all the information that you needed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back tomorrow. I do daily readings for Scorpio. Thank you. Bye.